Tesla reported that it had received notice that it was going to be sued by the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing based on an investigation that that agency had done into claims of uh, pre predominantly racial harassment and discrimination. So what that tells us is that the DFEH must have received an extraordinary number of complaints and or that these complaints were uh, particularly egregious and compelling to motivate the agency to take this fairly extraordinary step. So one, one of the things we've seen is that this, this is an incredibly toxic culture uh, and environment that many of these employees are working in where there is sexual harassment uh, and racial harassment and discrimination. And so um, certainly we've seen evidence of both. And for our clients who are women of color, they have experienced the intersectionality of, and, and harassment of both kinds. But it's not at all surprising to hear that, that workers might be experiencing both types of harassment because they stem from the same basic problem, which is a corporate culture which tolerates disrespect and discrimination and, and, and harassment against, its, against and among its employees. And it really um, calls into question the, the tone at the top of the company that would uh, enable people at the lower levels of the company to believe that they could perpetrate this kind of widespread systemic harassment, harassment and discrimination with impunity.